Ready now for the D final, women's 400 IM. Lane number one is Paige Kaplan, Long Island Aquatic Club. Two, Addison Skogman, Waukesha Express. Three, Josephine Grote, Cincinnati Marlins. Four, Alexis Jaeger, Academy Bullets. Five, Elizabeth Bailey, Dynamo Swim Club. Lane six, Beatrix Thompson, Empire Swimming. And in seven, Alexandra Sumner, Suburban Seahawks. Lane eight, Azra Abdick, NASA Wildcat Aquatics. Again, one of the great things about the 4 and AM is the lead changes that could happen, sometimes happen. Although in that last seed in the E-Final, Danica Katzer was pretty much in the lead all the way through. Right now we got Avra, Azra Abdick in lane number eight holding on to the lead. It is actually Elizabeth Bailey in lane number five with the lead 105-48. We move into backstroke. Bailey's holding, got a little bit more of a lead. Now Bailey's opened up a very big lead, a little more than a body length. Look at that great underwater. It's going about 10 meters on that dolphin kick. Alexander using the backstroke to her sprint. Sorry, Elizabeth Bailey using the backstroke to her strength. And let's see if she can she has a strong breaststroke as well and use that to her advantage as well because that's going to really be important because the ones who are breaststrokers will be making a big move here that's 219.76 for elizabeth bailey she's still holding a very strong pace Dynamo Swim Club has a very strong tradition of the 400 IM. Most recently, swimmers like Gunnar Bentz, the Litherland Triplets, making the junior national team in the individual medleys. Those guys are getting ready to swim next weekend, next week, the NCAA championships. And Elizabeth Bailey is Obviously trying to carry on that great tradition at Dynamo, where they're pretty much good at everything. And she's still doing well in the breaststroke, but Paige Kaplan in lane one, sneaking up on her out, out here. And obviously, because she breathes forward, Elizabeth Bailey doesn't know she's there. We got 15 meters to go in breaststroke, and Elizabeth Bailey is still holding on to a very good lead. So we got Bailey in five, Kaplan in two. Like Bailey's holding on a great lead. Again, she's been leading since the beginning. So these first two heats of the women's forward AM are definitely proving me wrong in terms of the leads changing often. in lane number eight, Azra Abdick. She's making a big push here for second place. She might take over Paige Kaplan. Looks like she has taken her over.
So Elizabeth Bailey is going to come in to win this A, this D final, 455.44. That's less than five tenths off the Olympic trials cut. She should be ecstatic by that. That is a great swim. And Azra Abdick also under five minutes in lane eight, 458.89. And then Paige Kaplan in lane number one, 459.71.